So, it's time to start Dragon Quest Builders 2, which I'd say I'm pretty excited about. Because the first one was a lot of fun. And I've heard that this one is even better. So, excitement. But I am, again, going into this one blind. Don't know exactly what to be expecting. So, um, let's find out together, shall we? Means, of course, starting the game and switching the scene. Here we go. Loading, loading. Come on, slime. Keep, keep jumping through the pages so I know the game's not frozen. Come on. Come on. Please. Thank you. Design the character, obviously. Girl, because I'm not a boy. And there's no option for in between.
just change your entire character out later on if you need to. Select the settings. Sounds reasonable to me. Place item. Use tool. settings that I didn't notice. Oops. Ooh, recipe for pixelated protagonists. That sounds fun. Supreme, and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. <laughs> huzzah, huzzah, all hail Hagen. Praise be to Malaroth. O oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world of oblivion. Lead us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. Now do we get an intro? No. No, we don't. You are the hero who will save this world. Arise, my child, your destiny waits. Dude. The <laughs> look on your face is only remedy, my child. You know, here I know that much. One of the buildings, right? Now, we got a good authority to your builder, so you can drop the act. Still, at least you're not a master builder. Might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. 
I've actually got just the job for a last night. Mm -hmm. Once you wipe the sleep from your sockets, come and be a long day. Did you hold it? Did you hold it? I hold the R1 more you more. And... Mm. I'm sure the extra speed will come in, but take care of your edges or you'll meet your maker soon or you'll be later. Yeah. 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 From this floating coffin. This water's so cursed, strange voices carry across the waves, and many a vessel has vanished in the bay. Thank you for the tip, Errol. <laughs> Sorry. Is that. it works. What makes you think that it wouldn't work? As scared as I am, I assure you, we've got this death trap first opportunity. Welcome in, by the way. The only way to be here, I have something to tell you. Oh, the don't get hit? Yeah, I mean, that, that is a great pro, pro tip. Just spits them out randomly. Also, there's a cooldown on it. I 
think it's only one minute though. Yeah, it's just it's it's just one minute for them. Just to make sure that I didn't give people spam and pro tips. But yes, welcome in. I have pretty much just started. Examine something or strike up a conversation with someone. I suggest you remember this advice until the day you die. Really? Yeah, I can see that. Why is the game so loud when I can barely hear it? How's that? Actually, I wonder if I can just do this. You can still hear it just fine, right? Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. I had switched some settings on the capture card recently and I didn't realize that it added a setting into OBS when I did that. Stop it. Like full screen view. Yeah, wandering the second one. Although the first one might work. Oh, and one more thing. Could you ask that girl in the brig to pipe down? She won't stop screaming. How does she expect me to rest in peace when she's being so noisy? couldn't help but overhear you hobnobbing with that dreadful vet bot. So you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was going to ask if you'd come up with a plan to get us off this ship, but you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something like that out. Oh, why in the goddess's name did I ever become a builder? If I'd have been a farmer or a miner instead, I'd never been left to rot in this stinky cell. <sighs> We thought the children of Hargon were all but vanquished, but they were running scared. How did they ever turn the tables on us like this?
Well, anyway. Um, it's this way. It's over here. This is where we store our cargo. We got the slam reavers. Like, we call it the hold. Say, if you wouldn't be that apprentice builder I've been hearing about, would you? They say you can make all sorts of stuff from just a few bits and blobs. I don't know how you builders do it. As the magnificent Horgan said, destruction awaiteth all that is built. Do you think that all that hard work is going to waste? Builder, Builder, I have something to tell you. If you ever get stuck or can't figure out what to do next, be sure to check back with whoever you spoke to last. It shows you're willing to do the job right, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now that's a tip that'll serve you well in this life and the next. You're that Apentith Builder that we nabbed Cantlin on to you. I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that the end is nigh. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Little Miss Bilda. You're only an apprentice, but you're prancing around like you own the place. Honestly. You can't go anywhere these days without bumping into it and little builders hell-bent on undoing all of our hard work. The world's going down the pan, that's for sure. Our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builders like you one by one. <laughs> Middenhall, Canock. Moonbrook, from forth these three kingdoms, did come the hated heroes, the scions of Erdrick, who laid all mighty Hargon low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Maroth, the lord of destruction, should be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say, Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day, we will reduce this world to ruin. Uh, ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The higher ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little Draki. Hello, Groomel. We're the last surviving members of the Children of Argon. The ones who didn't get squished. We're going to bring this world to its knees. On the name of the great and glorious high priest. What's with all this slurping? I'm just slivating at the prospect of squashing you gummins once and for all. Have you heard? Why, yes, yes, I have. Been boning up, have you? Jog on then, smarty pants. I better give you a quick history lesson then. An age long since past, this world was ruled by the iron fist of a king among kings, the mighty dragon lord. I was one of his loyal foot soldiers, but the master I so valiantly served was vanquished at the hands of some hotshot hero. So when High Priest Hargun rose to power, I wasted no time signing up to join his dishonorable ranks. Alas, even he was destined for defeat. Just my luck. Now the other skeletons look down on me for switching sides. I'm even starting to think the downfall of these great leaders could be something to do with me. Bored, bored, bored. I'm bored beyond belief. I'm going out of my skull with boredom, I tell you, it's nothing but ocean everywhere I turn. 
Water over this way. Water over that way. Just give me something to look at that's not the blooming horizon. So what happens if I jump into the water? Probably something bad. Oh, almighty Hargon. How did those hated humans ever manage to defeat you? Did the whole world not cower before you after you obliterated Moonbrook? If only I'd risen from my grave in High Priest Hargon's heyday. I would have led an undeath of luxury instead of being stuck here in the skeleton crew. What's up here? A human, what are you doing up here? Are you thinking of work too? I just love playing truant. And I don't care who knows. Seeing as you're here, I may as well, as well ask. Have you spoken to the rest of the crew? For a menagerie of monsters. They're a friendly bunch, wouldn't you say? I just worry they've gone a bit soft since Hargon was overthrown and peace returned. But you better not get the wrong idea. Humans and monsters are never meant to mix. We're enemies. We always have been. Always will be. Aw, oh, come on. Can't we be buddies? Can't we be pals? Stairs are no match for you, I see. Just can't keep a girl girl down. <laughs> now, as you'll no doubt have spotted, we're sailing on the open ocean. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you'll get very far anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> um... I mean, you're a skeleton. Why would you be eating anything? Fina, I can't remember when she last ate. The thought of food makes her stomach start rumbling. Believe it or not, the kelp can be eaten. Yum, yum. Down in one, that kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? The pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-dealing combination. You should thank your lucky stars you got to scoff such a scrumptious snack, because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right. He'll be dead soon enough. But don't worry, you won't be shuffling off his mortal coil just yet. You've got plenty of hard graft for you to be getting on with first. <laughs> you can wipe that lily livered look off your face. Not gonna send you to the cemetery anytime soon. So long as you got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. What's that? You want to know who we are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are, without a paddle I might add, go talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. talked to you guys before. I don't really feel like reading your text again. Regardless of the fact that you apparently loved my slurpy sound effects. Ooh. 
<laughs> so you talk to the rest of the crew, eh? Obedient little blighter, aren't you? So now you know, we're the last survivors of the children of Hargon, loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. That means you builders are our sworn enemies. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you along with anyone else who gets in our way. Eh? You want to know what we're going to do with all these builders? Why the higher-ups know for sure, but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are up for the chop. Still, that doesn't mean we can make the most of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you have some benefit as your final moments draw ever closer. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars, or worse. You'll do as I say. So here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn about the deck and bring the wood bring me the wood when you're done. Go on. Chop chop. Okay. Bells, bells, what a storm we had last night. I washed all the torches overboard and scattered about the barrels around the deck. I beg your pardon, you say you slept right through it. Good gracious, you must sleep like a particularly lazy log to have missed a humdinger of a hurricane like that. Well, well, my deck looks in much better shape now that you've picked up all that wood. No flies on you, eh? Still, I suppose being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick in the coccyx. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to be fraternizing with your kind. But considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day. So I'm sure it's fine. You wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this, right? Anyway, I think you've chewed the fat long enough. You want to cling on to your life for a little longer? I suggest you continue working like the dutiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that what you bash doesn't bash you back. Can't break anything else? No? Can I punch you? You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying around my deck and chatting with my crew without a care in the world. If anything, I'd wager you're actually enjoying this. There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Faced with the same fate, those prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you? Uh, seems like you aren't scared of us at all. You better keep you busy, or who knows what you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty of you for you to be getting on with, for starters. Some of the boys on deck have got jobs to be doing. Report back to me when you've sorted them out. Fell in the hole again. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pocketing all the wood you could find. A raging tempest that struck last night washed all our navigation lights overboard. Which such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some new torches. See that worn out workbench over there? 
Use it to make five torches here. I believe you'll need this oil to craft them. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper locations. The five black blocks will be your sign there. The one by the workbench and four more around the stairs that lead to the below decks. Place one torch upon each block. Do not fail me, builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place. Return to me when you have finished the task. say I'll really like the crafting more. Hmph. <laughs> Seems you've done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. For ships such as ours, they could do with being a touch more sinister, if I do say, myself, say so myself. But I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard the ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Well, if it isn't the so-called builder. Anyone think you'd own the place with the way you're strutting around the deck? What's with the attitude? Run errands for the boys on the captain's orders? You want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck in this good for nothing ship as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders could fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with the monster? Oi, you! Fancy taking a swing at this kid? Let's try not to kill her, eh? <laughs> Alright, better put them dukes up. I'll warn you, though, that skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come find me after the fight's finished. You can still walk. Um... Okay. Oh, you're a better boxer than you look. I'll give you that. Still, the only thing these pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for somebody who claims to be a builder. Doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Luckily, you don't have a future to speak of at all. <laughs> all right, be off with you. Go and tell the boss. Bosun, what a weakling you are. Fight like a cow's cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for the combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed into smithereens if you'd had a weapon? <laughs> a likely story. You're gonna bash him up the skull with one of them torches? You're such a wizard whipping up. Don't make me laugh. Huh? <laughs> What's that book you've got there? I can make a stick. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. You what? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never... Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Don't just stand around looking gormless. Put your money where your mouth is. Make this cypress stick then. You know the workstation is, right? One more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. Weapons no use otherwise. Hmm? Hello? Oh, hey, Felixia. Thank you for following me.
Yes, you are. And I'm glad you are. The girl genius returns, cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say, fancy another crack of the old bag of bones now that you've got a weapon? <laughs> I mean, I'm not son. More like mommy. But yes, I think so. Just started. And that's the spirit. I want to watch that rotter try and put himself back together once you're through with him. Ugh, bone crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on then, lass. Go and brag about beating me to the bosun. Ah, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. You what? Uh, feel a bit sorry for him. <laughs> That's a new one. I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. I just don't think you could butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Anyway, thanks for that builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day just yet. Not by a long shot, I've got a feeling my bones are someone else on board who needs a helping hand. My, my, you've been a little busy little lady, haven't you? First you made those torches, now a cypress stick. But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one. It's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builders? Do you even have any? Sure. Liar. The only thing you're carrying is that cypress stick. You haven't a single tool upon your person. Well, I think we ought to do something about that, hadn't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below decks. Now they are yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up a whole host of objects without the need to smash them first. Ideal for organizing your articles in an orderly fashion. So without further ado, take your newfound gloves, gather up all the barrels strewn higgly piggly about the deck, and place them on the mat beside me. Tip incoming. Thank you for the pro tip. Yep, that is the one you added, Zeth. I will do my best to not die.
Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you agree that a pair of gloves is indispensable tool for any building builder. Budding builder. I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work shy west rules. But based on your showing just now, I may have to reassess my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder. The eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be but short. But your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. It appear you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain that you require some more back-breaking chores. Not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working her fingers to the bone for us monsters without a word of complaint, either. If I doubted it before, I'm certain now. You actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Still, I won't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? <laughs> what do you play, Zeth? Oh, nice. Nah, I don't enjoy building things. <laughs> Pull the other one. I saw you grin like a goon back there. It's plain as the nose hole in my face that building stuff is what we live for. Got all the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. Okay. Well, what with you builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running about a stern like Billy O now, can I? Sorry to say it, kid. I'm gonna have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. <laughs> Just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. Not really gonna lop your noggin off, well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin girl. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, lass? Will you join my skeleton crew? You don't have to say anything. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're lugging around? I've never seen anything like it before. Eh, where'd this rain come from? Eh, you'll have to tell me later, lassie. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. Ah, apprentice Builder. You'll do nicely. Okay. This is your world to create, and yours to destroy. Now come to me, my child. Oi, cloth ears, what are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below decks into the hole. It's far too dangerous up here for a land lover like you. What would happen if a specter like me were to sink to the bottom of the sea when I <gasps> drown? Hey, Green, another thorn. I'm not sure I can weather this one. Please, Hargon, don't let me die. I'll do anything you ask of me, I swear. I'm not scared of a silly little storm like this. Honestly, I'm not. I'm certain this ship built this 
Does he think um this the way he think? Isn't that right, Builder? Please tell me we'll survive this storm. One atrocious storm is bad enough, but two in quick succession is an ill omen indeed. This vessel may be smashed to splinters before the day is out. Good, I say, for are we not the children of Hargon, dedicated disciples of the Master of Destruction himself? But bad, I also say, for were we to sink, what would become our illustrious order? Would destruction itself be destroyed? What a perplexing paradox. One minute we're happily bobbling along on the waves, the next we're slap bang in the middle of a horrendous storm. <laughs> Why am I wibbling so much? That's what slime is doing when we're scared. Well, we do it when we're not scared as well, but it's more of a wobble than a wibble. <laughs> this storm's making me feel seasick. Quick, someone bring me a bucket before this deck gets a fresh splash of varnish. <laughs> Too late. What was that? Advance the story? No way. There's people to talk to. Scree! Have you seen the sky, human? The clouds are racing by and there's an ominous electricity in the air. This is no ordinary storm, let me tell you. Speaking of which, what are you doing all the way up here? Are you insane? Telling me, of course you are. I swear we'll be lucky to survive this one. <laughs> Nothing like a little wind and rain to break the tedium of a long voyage at sea. Bring on the storm, I say. <laughs> it said the water is starting to look a little tad too choppy for my liking. Maybe calm seems a bit of monotony or the way forward after all. I hope you're not back here thinking you'll get a response from me. You need to get your lumpy rump to the hold and take shelter before you end up like me. Uh, are you trying to give me a heart attack? Dude, you're a skeleton. You don't have a heart. What if I lost my footing and fell into the drink, eh? Would you dive in and pick my bones up off the ocean floor? Yeah, didn't think so. How very unusual. After last night's tempest, I thought we had sailed well clear off stormy waters. I'd watch my footing if I were you, Builder, lest you get hurled into the raging waves. And do as the good captain says and hurry to the hold fast as Looks for killing you. Builder, builder. Through the storm may set your spine a tingle, you need not fear. Our captain is the finest sailor the children of Hargon has ever had. The ship will be safe with him at the helm. Follow his orders and you'll live to see another day. But if you rock the boat, well, that's to say, I hope you can swim. What in the world is happening out there? Oh, we're doomed. Doomed, I say. What a way to go. <gasps> Just when I thought these things couldn't get any worse, the mother of all storm strikes. My luck runs dry. Just as I'm about to get so great. <sighs> you builder. Now's not the time to be rubbing your freedom in our faces, but to stop all your sh this shaking or I should be very cross. sea is wroth once more, it would seem. My grandfather always told me there is not more capricious than the open ocean. The weather in high mountains or Gigantus's mood. Which is why I'll be riding the storm out down here. There's no shame in letting fear get the better of you on occasion. 
Now leave me be. Ooh, what an awful storm. I've never seen the ship shake and shudder so. If you're looking to hide in the hole, it's just at the end of this corridor. Hurry, build, or this chat might be your last. Oh, what the heck's going on? Captain, come to the hold quickly. We're a deep goo goo down here. Blimey, I don't like the sound of this. Hold tight. I'm on my way. You all right there, Builder? Ugh. But I can't be stopping to help some human. I, I've got to get to the hold. Hargon, preserve us. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony backside in here pronto. I need your help. Over here, Builder. Builder, you've got to do something. I'm gonna get squashed into the ocean. I don't know how to swim. What took you so long, eh? I got bad news, Builder. I've been swept right into a reef and the rock's gonna clean through the hole. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading down to Davy Jones's locker. I know this is what I'm ramming a crate into the hole. You got a pair of gloves, don't you? So you use them. That's some Minecraft logic right there. That was closer shave than I liked, but you didn't. You saved my. Oh, throw me a bow, not more holes. Ah, we're taking on more water. Gotta do something. Use some more crates and plug all those holes up. A lifesaver, builder or no, I owe you one. But a run with that rock has made mincemeat on my hole. The next wave that hits us could. I knew it! It's a race against time, builder. Cram some more crates in those holes and hurry. That's not actually a race against time. You shored up my ship, good and proper builder. I don't know where we'd be without you. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much long. I'll throw me a bone, we're done for! Holy moly, look at that one. We don't have any crates big enough to plug up a hole that size. This is it, Builder. It was nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Builder. Dark.
Shipwreck Survivor. Penai awakens on a sandy shore. It seems she has washed up on a desert island, along with the wreckage of the skeleton's ship. She decides to take a look around to see what she can see. Suddenly, Fina hears a voice. <coughs> Which is not a voice of me coffin. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Fina I might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. Yeah. Infinite opportunity in the Isle of Awakening. Sky is such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven or hell, likely? Huh? What was that noise? Hey, bunches! Who the heck are you? Finally, a live one! Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? We're on a ship that sank. Then you woke up on this beach. So how come you didn't cork it too? What's your story? 
Name's Fina, and you're an apprentice builder. Huh, never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, your name's Malroth. Hey, you want to see something gruesome? Follow me. Not particularly. What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. Welcome back, Nero. Well, I hope that you slept well, at least. Oh, hey, Lin Wu. Thank you for the raid. Oh no. The other people who are on the ship with me. Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you never seen anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from the shipwreck. Being on the boat. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I? <laughs> what the? Huh. Hey, the girl isn't dead after all. Sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. You should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. Excuse me? What? No! Bad! Meryl! Why are you four killing cute girls? Oh, because you already know stuff about this game.
Where am I? How did I get here? You pirates aren't you filthy pretty booty priggins who will take captive and demand a ransom for my safe return. There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? Only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? Bad. This little let's gather stuff together thing is kind of nice. away from me, villains. If you're going to take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. Well, we're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep this company. Must have washed up here with Feni when your ship sank. Just a moment, do I know you? Huh? Narrow. Bad. Yes, I remember. You're that builder from the ship, the one who ran around gritty while those horde monsters barked orders at you. I know you were in cahoots with them, so that means it's all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? You're going to make things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Oh, well, all right. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn-out word bench outside to make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. Now, what we'll need to hold out until help arrives. Let me see. Okay. Suddenly seeing the mission being called Lulu's demands and not requests. We'll need shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. Rather not die of exposure before then. The walls must be at least two blocks high and leave a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. You can salvage some of the wrecking from the decking from the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use those gloves of yours to pick it up. You don't have to worry about splinters that way. We have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us. So we'll need to find enough sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. There's bound to be a scallywinkle or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on a bonfire first. There's some wood to build a fire. Luckily for us, there are plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels in the shipwreck running about. You may as well put them to use. Now, I can't be expected to put my head down after a night in these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm going to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters, so we'll have to make through three piles of straw bedding. Place them in a room when you're done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy boots. Who made you the leader here, anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. 
don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty muscles. Say that again, I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh, Builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from this savagery. Nah. Pardon? I, I couldn't hear you for the waves crashing on the shore. I'll ask again. Oh, Builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from the savagery? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Fine. <laughs> it's wonderful. I need to do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises, if you like. Then, when you become a fully-fledged builder, you'll have me to thank for it. Training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? Remember I said before about putting her out of her misery? How about we put her out of our misery instead? It's a funny looking thing you got there. Wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles the girl's jabbering on about by any chance. Oh, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks to break it on. That's something I'd rather avoid. girl really gives me the hump. First she won't stop winging. Then the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're the builder at the end of the day, not her skivvy. Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad case. <laughs> she's a castaway at the end of the day, same as us. Gotta look out for number one, that's my motto. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know how you said you were a builder? Is that like something to do with a duck's nose? Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. You decide which of her errands you'll do first. It's up to me I'd mend those walls while we're here. Just stuff some planks in the holes. Hey presto, we've buildered herself a brand new room, right? To be honest, I planked out the rest of her requests. I'll speak to her again if you need a reminder. Hey, Sandy, welcome. Now you repaired my room. Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. To see an O room must have a door. The wall's at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. You two are very welcome to stop by any time you like. Oh, excuse me. This is our room? Yeah, exactly. I'm making three beds, not one. Okay, Sandy. I hope you figure it out soon. Well, she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Right, next up is dinner. She wanted us to cook some of those scallywinkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? Is that something you can do? Yes, it is. What's the deal with that book? Huh? You just invented bonfires and now you can build one if you have enough materials? Yeah, I guess, Nero. But sometimes you have to give people a little bit more credit. I think Malroth isn't exactly a ray of sunshine either. 
you know. All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn out workbench. Well, if it's oil in need, I can give you some. Rungs have a slime that got in my way earlier. Here. All you need now is wood. The girl said you can get some from the driftwood and broken barrels on the beach. Whatever that means. Anyway, you better get that bonfire built. No use starving. I'm only put her in even a worse mood than she's already in. What's that you made? It's hot as heck. It spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. I mean, yeah, I guess so. He's cool, no? He was in the intro. But, I mean, he blatantly lied to me when, I, when we first got here. Oh, I came off the shipwreck, too. But are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? Yes. He doesn't remember anything at all, apparently. Hey, Bearer of Peas. Welcome in. Careful, Feni. The Scallywinkle just fell in the fire. Hmm. Oh, that must be how you cook it. See, so builders can make food too, huh? So it'll be a little while to let Scallywinkle's completely cooked. Let's go and look for some more materials while we wait. And what happens if I if I leave it there for too long? Aw, oh, headpats! Yay! Okay, it doesn't look like it'll burn. It's good to know. That aroma. Is that the smell of a succulently seared scallywinkle? I must have it. Yeah, here. Uh, the scent of the seaside combines perfectly with the scravelly crunch of the sand grain. Simply irresistible. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see something else that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on a bonfire. <laughs> I find a cooked meal much more fitting than raw fare. It makes you feel healthier, too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. Oh, how rude of me. I just realized I never asked your names. Feni and Malroth, you say? I know you're a builder, Feni, but what do you do, Malroth? Well, I'm... Uh, actually, I, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory is completely blank. Look, I fixed things. That's my first reminder to drink water. Or, well, maybe I fix things. But regardless, it didn't spit it out ten minutes in. <laughs> oh well, an apprentice builder and her amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like her, you must be dreaming. 
Aw, hugs too. Thank you, Nero. Uh, speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared scallywinkle has filled me up nicely. So, Fina, how's progress going to the straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. Here we go, she's got her book out again. What have you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you can make straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw something dry and grassy along the shore of the west. Could that be what you're looking for? I mean, I guess, but... Let's try cooking some kelp. In the meantime, hey, Fina, I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials, builders, but what does any of that actually mean? You smash things you find here and there to get materials, which you use to make new stuff. That's what being a builder is all about. Ah, okay, I think I'm get, starting to get a clearer picture of what it is you guys do. Oh, I've been enjoying it so far. I like the fact that I can build more than one and less than... <laughs> and less than max. How come I don't know already? Look, they might be ten a penny where you come from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. <laughs> well, not that I remember anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know the Scallywinkles Lulu is asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them all for ourselves. Punch is harder than I can swing a stick. But mostly head pats for me. Likes tearing stuff apart too. This will make gathering things so much nicer. Examines the strange stone carving, but nothing happens. Yeah. 
your fullness gauge ever drops to zero, you won't be able to dash or string two sword slashes together. Hi again, Lin. Let's better nibble on some raw stuff. Oh, I'm sure I have enough materials by now. It's not the point. <laughs> I haven't emptied the beach. I'm glad that the dry grass magically stays dry while I'm trancing around in the water. Crispy kelp. Dad can't cook more than one piece at a time. Okay. Bed. 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 One of those gore tech. Oh, probably, yeah. This is wonderful, Fini. You made a bed for me and a couple for yourselves, too. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge our energies, and after the sun goes down, we'll be able to while away the dark and dangerous night in Dreamland. <sighs> what would Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder? Not Desert Island, no less. When the children of Harga attacked my hometown of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood. So I stowed away on that accursed ship hoping to avenge their deaths. I was caught before I had a chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Well, um, we've avenged their deaths. <laughs> oh, Papa, Mama. I may be marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements. It's been a long, hard day. I suggest we all get some well-earned rest. See now, you've repaired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me supper, and I do believe that's everything. 
gotta say, it's a real relief to have a builder around. And judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. <laughs> I know we're stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. <laughs> the castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. As for you, Malroth, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture. Maybe even some manners. Yeah, I'm with you, Malroth. Now then, Fina, I want you to go out at, at first light every morning and forge 30 scallywinkles and 50 strips of kelp. They must all be cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. Excuse me? Only have one bonfire. I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once she got what she wanted, but she's just as big a pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. Wish I could do what you do. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think the game will let me now. Hey, Fini, can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try making something myself. I mean, yeah. Have fun. Go for it. All that. I've been watching you make stuff all day. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Fini. I'm going to be a builder just like you. Now then, what was it you do first? <laughs> no, that's not right. Yep. Huh. Why isn't this working? Please don't break my workbench. Please. All right, you asked for a girl. What did I do wrong? Doesn't make sense. Why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Hmm. <sighs> Forget it. Thought making stuff would be all fun games. It's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Fini. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you even things out and made something for me. Okay. Didn't even ask for something and I'm already making something. Deciding what to do. Big thick stick. Just for Malroth. Is that for me? What would I want for a silly old stick? It's not just any old stick, it's an oaken club. I could use it to whack stuff? <laughs> that sounds right up my alley. All right, I'll take it. Give it here. Hey, this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings. Um... 
Um, yeah? What, Nero? What'd I say? Yeah, big thick stick. A club. What? <laughs> I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now. And to think you made it by only using the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Thanks, Fini. This club's the best present anyone's ever given me. I think. Hmm? Fini, can you feel that? Some kind of evil aura. It's becoming for a monster, but whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes you saw before. Yeah, exactly. Innocence. You're innocent, I'm innocent, we're all innocent here. This is an E-rated game. The first game didn't have stuff like the, uh, the Farmer Sutra. <laughs> this could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. Monsters somewhere down the coast of the west, come on. I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. Maybe I should sleep first. Hi. Hang on, Fina. We're not done for the day just yet. Fine. Uh huh, sure, Nero. I can just pick up the sand blocks. I don't even have to break them. Can I do that with these two? No. Good to know. Oh. That was a fatty ratty. Whoa, what was that? When you stuck your hand out like that. Just then? That's irresistible urge to slap it. It's called a high five? It's something friends do and to celebrate a job well done? Huh. Never thought of myself as that touchy feely type. But maybe I can make an exception for this high five malarkey. Huh. Of course I'm a good kitsune. How would I be anything but? Anyway, how'd you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling better already. What? Levels? Levels? What? But I'm a builder. Huh. <laughs> Felt good whacking that rat, right? It's like an irritating little itch that's been well and truly scratched. Huh. But don't forget, you're a builder, not a fighter. You want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. Dokuro? What's that? 
See, I'm innocent now. I don't even know what a Dokuro is. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do. But I guess wanton destruction is much more my bag. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. This is a wily one, alright. Better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Be nice. I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together, just you and me? Let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second now. Anime? Okay. Wow. Oh my. Yeah. Good morning, you two. Hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast from the beach. No! What is it, Lulu? A monster? It's my scallywinkle. It's disappeared. What? All right, Malroth, own up. I know it was you. I purposely only ate half of that seared scallywinkle last night so I could have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. What are you wittering on about? I haven't touched your manky half-munched mollusk. Huh? That aura, what's going on this time? Hey, you two, you're going to want to see this. There's the culprit. That monster must be the one who snapped my scallywinkle. Oh, ho, ho. Just took down the whole cliff, and are those steps? I think he's only dumb about builder stuff. Oh, ho, ho, this way, young whip whip whipper snappers. That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Uh, second thoughts, maybe it'll be able to tell us something about this island. Huh. Fini, Lulu, let's get after that monster. Got some questions that need answering. Ghostly, whatever. Because we don't need to worry about stuff. No.
Ho ho ho, this way, this way, quick, quick, quickly now. Stay where you are, you freaky fogey. I don't like this one bit. That metal monsters even made the sky turn a funny color. Who cares about this stupid sky? I want my breakfast. You two are going to jolly well help me get it back. You know, we could just cook you another one, Lulu. Why is that not the ideal answer? Lulu really likes revenge. That's what it is, isn't it? This way, could could cuddly winkies nearly there. What do I mean? It's leading us on a wild goose chase. Does that horrible hammerhood expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? Uh, that monster's got some kind of strange power. Never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. Place like this doing on a desert island. Come on, Fini, the hammerhood's just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans on all the island's secrets. There's no escape now, you sneaky, sneaky scallywinkle swindler. Just hand over the bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry hem hem hammerhood for half snarfed leftovers? I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing, no ifs or buts about it. He and I seared that scallywinkle, especially for me. Now give back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit! Ah, yes, Fini. Just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, rock up here for a, for a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know she's a builder? Oh, oh you're an observant one, aren't you? 
why the very reason I pinched that scrum scrum scrumpish skellywinkle is to lure your fine friend up here. Look around you, Venai. This temple is laying in the sorry strait of longer than I can recall. If you're the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix, fix, fix it. Everything you need to rebuild the temp temp temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh-faced builder like you might find the going diff diff difficult without a blueprint as a guide. <sighs> Come back here, you conniving old codger. I think we're gonna fix the, your house for free. You got another thing coming. And anyway, what's a blueprint? Okay. Apparently I know how to build this. Uh, Vini, why'd you draw all these lines on the ground? Is this one of those blueprints the Hammerhood was telling us about? Gosh, you've never even been here before, but you were still able to drop a design for the mountaintop temple. It's incredible. Now all you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprint of the block now. Well, Looney was telling the truth. Those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. Looks like all you need to do is place a ma masonry wall blocks and squares and put a brazier on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Ready to show Gary glows a lot how a real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint, you can't go wrong. Head pads, yay! So, me some read wall blocks. And some braziers. Might as well put these out first. Oh good, they move out of the way if I need them to. Unlike the NPCs in the first one, who would happily stand in the way. Really loves alliteration, yeah. I am not sure if it's something that they did creative license for, or if they tried to do it because there's some kind of rhyming stuff going on in the original language. Fina, you finished the blueprint. And you didn't even break a sweat. I think I'll have you build me a palace next. There shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Answer me one thing, though. How'd you come up with the blueprint in the first place? Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book on your back is everything you need to know to be a builder written inside. Hmm. Busted now, Fina, your secret's out. So you may as well let me read it. Huh? You won't. Why not? Is something the matter, Fina? You've gone all red. 
Wait, you don't have a mucky magazine sandwich between the pages, do you? E-rated game, folks. E-rated game. This doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down with the damn cloth, it'll be good as. Oh ho ho! You finished repairing the temple, I see. I would, would, wouldn't let me down. Well, it took us a glance, and you drew up that blueprint as quick, quick as a flash. You're the real deal, Fini. A builder born and bred, bred, bred! As thank you for your hard work, work, work. I'd like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it for the crack, crack, cracking job you did. Woohoo! A silly old hammer. I thought you were going to give me back my breakfast. That's a giant mallet, an indispensable item in the toolkit kit, kit of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break, break, break blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials. Yeah, I've noticed that. Something I, I like. I also have another quirk, quirk, quirking gift for you, Fina. I'm sure you'll like this one. I give you this island. All of it. Every last block, block, block. What? You're giving her this entire island? All she did was repair the temple. This world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to this island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into their very own piece of paradise. But now everything has crum crum crumbled away. All that remains is the ancient builder's belief in, in, in the box beneath us. I waited for another builder to come. One who can bring life back to this barren land. Block by block, block, block. And you want Fina here to do all the hard work? We don't even know what we're supposed to build. And we don't know who you are either. But this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. I'll have you know that I'm the guardian spirit of this island. And what I say goes. Well, it looks like you've just become the proud owner of a private island, Finai. Are you going to take the offer? If you do accept, would you mind if I stayed here? I really don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> uh, I'll stick around, too. At least until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you say, Finai? Will you take the island? It's a stonk, stonk, stonking good offer. Stonks. Nah, I don't want your stinky island. Honestly, Finai, Papa always said you should never look a gift horse in the mouth, and you're looking so hard you can see right out the other end. Fine, I'll take the island. I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can begin work on Lulutopia. The first thing I want is a palace. Malroth, I need you to... <laughs> Lulutopia? I don't think so. Today we established Malroth's empire of evisceration. Right, Finai? And she could be our first sacrifice. Stonks. Yes. Yes. 
Earl, are you sure you didn't put yourself in this game as Malra? Ho ho ho, you young upstarts. This island belongs to Fini now. You should leave big, big, big decisions like these up to her. Now, Fina, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Come up and see if you could break, break, break this wall behind me. There's absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there that I think you'll be very interested in. First, we break treasure boxes. Because, you know. You call that a treasure? It look, just looks like a tatty old notice board to me. It may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact a portal through which a builder may peek, peek, peek into other dimensions. I'll explain more later. For now, just peer into the portal and marvel at all the knock, knock, knock out things you see. Dare I look. I'm streaming. Okay, those are cute enough. It's enough of that, though. Yeah, I know that there is some kind of multiplayer in this. Oh, ho, ho, did you like what you saw, young nuns? Oh, yes, I saw the most wonderful photographs, and there were so many of them. I hope Vina takes the time to snap a few herself. I can be your model. Oh, ho, ho, you young, young, youngins, enjoy yourselves. Come and find me when you're done, done, done. I'll be waiting right out here. Yeah, I don't need to take a snapshot of whatever. What you need to do is... Break some rocks. I'm so gonna run out of space soon. Yeah, apparently you can play together with people. Although I don't know if that applies to the story mode or just side modes. Ho oh, ho ho, so how do you like your new notice board? It's quite the snip snap snippers paradise, isn't it? As long as you have one of those boards nearby, you can float, float, float the laws of space and time and observe the work of other builders whenever you desire. You can put your creations on display for other builders to view too. I'm sure you can see that note. Sports is a super, super, super source of ideas and inspiration. Half of that was complete gibberish to me, but if it helps you build the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. What's with the face, Nero? Speaking of which... I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. It's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. It's a silent. There are hardly any raw materials. 
And I don't think even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle of Scallywinks and Kel. Oh, 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 I know that little less, less, lessy. There's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Track, track, track them down elsewhere and bring them back here. As the young dam dam damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lack lack lacking in useful materials for an aspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you'd make very much head head headway with just the three of you. Wood and stone, stone, stone are all well and good, but what you really need is people. You'll have to travel to other islands and bring back 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 a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rat rat rattling around on this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces really liven the place up. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to these other islands without a ship? Ho ho ho, a top 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 notch question indeed, and one that the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Hmm? Oh, ho, ho, ship, ship, ship. Whoever would have thought it. Seriously. You're doing this on purpose now? Alright, out with it. Who are you really? And you can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. Well, to tell the truth, I can't remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. Yes, much love, Daryl. But I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back, back, back to me if I watch Fini work her building magic. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get the work started. I'll take some stairs, too. Just because. Taking the short way down. More stuff. 
is it midnight already? No, it's not. So why is my internet being silly? Come on. Why there, me briny bilge rats? I haven't seen any of the other humans for phantoms. Dreams brown beard. I was painting the ocean blue and mining me these knees when I sailed right into the path of one of the children of Hargon's slave ships. I managed to avoid him, but only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized me map was back to front, I was already stuck in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on me portboard bow and hunted over. So what's your story? How did young whip snapper whippers end up here? <laughs> my name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia. At least it will be once a few night years finished with it. <laughs> Lulutopia, eh? Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. Aye, and a safe haven for a salted old sea dog like me. Goddess only knows what would have become of me if I had slushed up on these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy's talking about. Tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I'll ship you off to any island from here to the second stain on me map's backside. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of my neck. And I don't know my neck at all. But if you hear of any islands nearby, I'll happy happily ferry you over. <laughs> well, your boat's back on the small side, but it looks like a decent neck. I'd say we've got a deal. Ho ho ho, it seems everything is drop, drop, dropping into place. The fine captain will take you to nearby islands, where I'm sure you'll find plenty of materials and able to but bodied helpers to bring back. Well, the first thing Lulutopia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Tree-lined boulevards, spacious parks, and tables sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrowfield, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruit fr fruitful farms. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming, and a dash dash dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help your cause. I'll mark, mark, mark it on Captain Brownbeard's map. You just leave the sailing to him. You heard the magic monster, Fini? Come and find me when you're ready to go and I'll wait the anchor. It was five tons the last time I checked. Oh gosh, that was a bad pun. Oi, Fini, where will we be hauling anchor to today? Uh, for Ophield, I guess. You travel between islands, your save data will be overwritten, and your auto save will be defeated. Yep, let's go. But I must warn you, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. You'll have to leave behind everything you've gathered here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. Finai, Malroth. You've decided to go to this new island, then. Yep, we're not sticking around here any longer. How poor Lulu, you're coming, too. Actually, I think I'll stay here. What the? thought you'd leave all the hard work to us, did you? Get on board. I'm sorry, but I can't. 
After what happened on Hargun's slave ship, I don't think I can stun sitting foot on a boat right now. But don't let that stop you from exploring this furrow for the place. I'll be fine here. I'm tougher than I look, I'll have you know. You've got a big responsibility on your shoulders now. Lilithopia needs materials, food, and new citizens. You have to find them and bring them back. Question. Ship's not big enough to haul cargo. How am I getting the stuff back here? Oh, and if you meet this farming prodigy out there, make sure she teaches you how to turn the island into a green and pleasant land. Together we can make Lilitopia a verdant paradise fit for a princess such as myself. Ho oh, ho ho. You two go off 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 on your little adventure. Lulu will be safe here in my care. <laughs> as if we can trust a word you say. Still, only Lulu's neck on the line. Alright, let's roll. We wound up. We'll round up all these furrow fielders and put them all to work in the sweatshops of Malroth's Empire of Evisceration. So, so I have to leave everything here, but somehow I can take everything back here afterwards. When you get back, we can have a grand gala jamboree to celebrate Lulutopia's Foundation Day. Bon voyage! <laughs> Come on, Fina, I can't wait to see what Furrowfield is like. All this talk of food and farming is making my tummy rumble. Yeah! All aboard for a trip abroad! Time to set sail! Maybe we get a bigger boat? Maybe there's a shipping lane? Maybe the boat gets hammer space. So the Lord of Destruction has befriended the Builder. Destiny moves in mysterious ways. Neither men nor monsters can escape its influence. But now is the time of creation. Build to your heart's content, young builder, while we await the day of awakening. Hydrate and stretch. There's only one who can save this world from oblivion. Malroth, the Lord of Destruction. Is that why Malroth wants an empire of evisceration?
Here we are at last. A hairy hermit's got a nerve sending us all the way out here on a boat like this. I was listening from side to side, I'm amazed we made it here at all. Well, list or no list, you're safe, sound and safe on dry land now. Welcome to Furrowfield, yar. At least, I assume it's Furrowfield. Ain't never heard of the place myself. But it don't look like Baron or Zahan. I can tell you that much. Anyway, I'm heading out for a bit to get lie at the sea. But don't worry, I won't sail away until the sunrise. I'll be back in time to take you both home. <laughs> I think this guy's been drinking too much seawater. Come on, Fina, I'd say go I want to see what the island's got in store for us. Welcome to Furrowfield, land of plenty. Please stop by the farm and enjoy some delicious, freshly baked bread. This island is pretty weird, don't you think, Finai? Trees are all withered, ground's gross and slimy. The whole place stings like someone left a sack of apples in the sun for a moment. Do you really think we'll find greenery we're after in a slimy, stinky place like this? Eh. What? What the heck's that? Some kind of pink pulsating thing, but what is it? Let's go investigate. After I break some rocks. some trees because I know I'll need material eventually I think it's some kind of fruit I wonder what it tastes like do you reckon the whole thing's edible or <laughs> stupid thing just blew up in my face oh what a stink it's turned the dirt all around all gross and slimy too yeah, I heard a fruit going off before, but not like that. This place is crazy. Huh? I smell a fight brewing, Fini. Over there. Ooh, leave me alone. There's no point trying to eat me. I'm nothing but skin and bone. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like fun. Come on, let's go and see what the screaming's about. Break things so much faster than I can. This book is titled Furrowfield Land of Plenty. Yeah, it takes a closer look. The farmer's paradise of Furrowfield is far famed for its five delicious. The remaining pages of the book have been violently torn out. Glad that I do not have to fight all these things alone. No, thank you. Nope. OK. 
Okay, yes, I sense Battle Bruin too, but I'm collecting rocks though. teach those monkeys to mess with us. Right. Time to get some info about uh, Sally screams a lot. <laughs> so this is how I die. That's it for a big stinky. I hope we give them horrible indigestion. Wait. The monsters. They're gone. Those scaredy cats must have turned tail and fled when they finally worked out who they were dealing with. <laughs> hmm? <sighs> Since what have you two been standing there? Since you beat the monsters? Oh, I see. Thanks for your help. My name's Rosie. What's yours? And what are you doing here? He's Malrod the Amnesiac, and you're Finai the Apprentice Builder? And you've come to find out how to add a little greenery to your island? You know, going around telling everyone you're a builder is risky business. There's no telling how they might react. You're lucky you met me, and I might be lucky that I met you. Hmm. Alright, my mind's made up. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few rules. As the finest farmer on Furrowfield, it is my duty and pleasure to give you the grand tour of its finest farm. Come on, follow me. Successfully collect materials again. Farm's looking a little dingy. Well, here we are, Furrowfield Farm. Greatest, greenest garden on the island. How do you like it? Uh, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but it's not great. It's not very green. It isn't even a garden. <laughs> oh, I know. That's because we haven't built it yet. Huh? Trophyfield used to be a plant lover's paradise with vegetables and flowers growing everywhere and anywhere. But then the spoil spores appeared and turned all the earth into horrible, stinky slime. You can hardly even grow weeds in it. There was once a great farm here and the biggest and brightest on this whole island. And if all of us put our minds to it, I think we can bring it back. All of us? Are those guys mixed up in this too? Come, Perry, there must be something we can do. This is the last of our wheat. Not to mention the soil. We have scant enough arable earth as it is. I won't stand so close to it. Well, you, Mr. Bones, I will serve. This air spoils poor. Looks like it go off in a minute. Suffering slimes! Bonanzo, Perry, are you all right? Quick, you too. We have to get over there and make sure they're okay. Uh, do we have to?
Gosh, you look just like Rollo. Bonanzo, Perry, are you alright? We are, Rosie, but alas, our wheat is not. It spoils for just obliterate our entire crop. Hmm? And who are you two, I pray tell? I've not seen your faces before, to be honest. I think I rather liked it that way. This is Finai. This is Malroth. Finai says she's a builder. Blimey, neck. What kind of maid goes around telling everyone she's a builder? She must have something wrong with her head. Well, listen here, young Rosie. You may have fooled us this far, but we shall not be taken for ninnies. If you honestly expect us to believe this so-called builder will somehow salvage this prosperous plan of yours, you are gravely mistaken. Come on, Perry. We're leaving. Oh, er, all right. You must face facts, my dear. Furrowfield Farm is gone. The dream is over. It's time to wake up. Yeah, stuck-up beardy bloke really rubbed me the wrong way. Still, facial hair felonies aside, he's got a point. There's no point trying to rebuild this farm. The soil's no good. You're wasting your time. No, I'm not. I'm the finest farmer on Furrowfield, and Fini's a real-life builder. If we work together, I know we can do it. <laughs> wow, you really don't know when to give up, do you? Why do you want to rebuild this place anyway? Why? It's like Bonanzo said, it's my dream. A dream, huh? You know, I never really got my head around this hopes and dreams stuff people go on about. Please, Fini, I can't do it on my own. You'll help me rebuild Furrowfield Farm, won't you? Nah. I got my own stuff to do. Well, why? We both just want the same thing. Please, Fini, won't you help me rebuild the farm? Even just a little bit? Why do you even give me these choices? Dragon Quest is so bad about this. Yippee! Now that I've got a builder on board, the farm's as good as built. Fini, Malroth, welcome to the team. We're gonna make this place the best farm ever. Let's get started then, shall we? The first thing we'll need is a field to plant our crops in. Why? Why should I be nice to people? Hmm, where's the best place to put it, I wonder? I wonder if it's some kind of sign. What's the matter, Finai? You're looking very pleased with yourself. Just be mean to Lulu. I don't get the choice to be mean to Lulu, do I? <sighs> You've worked out how to build scarecrows? Of course! Scarecrows are always found in fields. If you stick one in the ground, everyone will know that's where our new field is. So, where should we put it? Oh, I know the spot. There's still a little bit of good clean soil over there. I'm so excited. I can hardly wait to start tilling the soil, but not until you officially mark the field with the scarecrow, of course. If you need materials, you can get cord from the vines that grow around here and wood from the trees. You just have to hit them with your hammer. Go on, Fini. Build us a scarecrow and put it in the middle of your new field. Okay. I had picked up rope. But not cord. Mm, muddy water. Yeah, what's this? A pattern. Workbench on the workbench. Hey, head bats.
Is that what I think it is? It is! Now that we have a scarecrow, everyone will know where the planter crops. Alright, you can leave the next step to me. It's tilling time! Strange something. Ah, farming's so much fun. I'm just so happy I could pop. You look pretty cheery just now, too, waving your arms in the air with a big grin on your face. What was that all about? Huh? Something popped out of me and you picked it up? Uh, I did feel like I was bursting with garden glee just now, maybe. Just maybe some of the happiness actually burst out? Well, whatever it was, I'm sure it's come it's to come in useful. Any more of them pop out of me, make sure to scoop them all up. Gratuitous gratitude. And I have tilled the earth around the scarecrow. Couldn't have done it without you. With your excellent inventions and my farming finesse, we'll be able to make some fantastic fields. We knew there's something special about you from the moment we met. After all, not everyone risks their life telling a stranger they're a builder. Emotional materialism, that's what it appears to be, yeah. You don't see what's so dangerous about that? If <laughs> you've been living under a rock or something, everyone knows that builders are the enemy. But anyway, we'd better get back to business with the field now. Let's grow some crops. Um, we're the what now? Right, now the soil's all ready. The next thing I have to do is plant some seeds. Here you go, Finai. These are for you. Timon is plowing is easy peasy. Anyone with a hoe can do it. But it takes steady hand to keen eye to plant a seed properly, and I think you're just the woman for the job. There should be five cabbage seeds there all together, Finai. Let me know when they're all resting happily in the soil. Work, Fina, you planted all the seeds. You did a lovely job of it, too. Just wait until Bonanzo and Perry see this. They'll be begging for a piece of the agricultural action. Soon enough, the seeds will sprout. We one step closer to fulfilling my dream. Thanks to you, we have ourselves a fully plowed and planted seal field. The only thing left is to water the seeds. See that little hill over there, Fina? There's a spring at the very top, but it's a bit of a pain to have to climb all the way up there every time we need water. So that's where you come in. Can you build something that make it easier for us to get to the water? Some sort of irrigation station? Yeah, I guess so. Needs. Spoiled 
soil. Why? What? Holy heck! Is this... It is! It's a blueprint for an irrigation station! Did you draw this off the top of your head? It's amazing! Like the one you drew back on the island, eh? But it looks like we have to gather the materials for this one ourselves. Well, if there's one thing we have plenty of here in Ferrofield, it's spoiled soil. Just smash up the ground if you need some. Oh, and don't forget to break the block that's holding the water back when you're done. That will have ourselves a nice little watering hole. If you start feeling a bit peckish, just remember there's always plenty of kelp down at the beach. enough. wasn't for the fact that the water's all muddy and stuff already. I would say it's silly to build this out of dirty, yucky water, but... Nice work, Feni. Whatever the thing is, it looks just like the blueprint. Wow! Now that we've got ourselves an irrigation station, we can water the fields. I can't thank you enough, Feni. Watering plants is a lot like tilling soil. Any old idiot can do it, so you can leave the watering up to me. You two stand back and watch the watering whiz work her magic. Trying to leave the watering to eat, but you're just clapping at me. Yes, I see sprouts. Finish watering. There we go, Feni. All our thirsty little seeds have had a nice big drink now. And that's all there is to it. You just till the soil, plant some seeds, water them, and then wait. It's easier said than done, though. For one thing, you need healthy soil. There's hardly any left on the island. It's easy to tell if the soil's spoiled. It goes all purple and sticky. Sometimes it looks green if there's moss growing on top, but when you dig down, you'll find nothing but grimy slime. The only soil that's any good for gardening has a nice, earthy brown color. Just take a look at some of the soil I tilled before and compare it to the moldy mud nearby.
All right, Feni. There's only one thing left to do before we can harvest our crops. Wait for them to grow. First, we'll get some little sprouts, and a little while later, they'll start growing leaves. Before you know it, they'll be all grown up. When that time comes, you won't need any special equipment to harvest them. Just hit them with that cypress stick you've been swinging about. Hmm. Might be a while before they're ready to be harvested, though. In the meanwhile, you could pass the time by clearing away the rocks and weeds in our future fields. And you can plant some more seeds, too. Speaking of which, here's a few more I had hidden away. You may as well go ahead and plant them. In the meantime, yeah, make things look prettier. Nope, spoil spores are still a mystery. The spoil spores have not been spoiled. Wow, we've finally grown our first fertile field cabbages, and they're absolute beauties! Meryl, I'm playing this blind. You're not supposed to spoil me. But I know what you're talking about. You're talking about giving me head pats. It's been so long since we had a proper crop. Oh, those horrid spoil spores appearing all the time and ruining the soil. In fact, I've never seen a better cabbage in all my life. Thank you so much, Feni. Blimey. Those cabbages are gutlush. You and Rosie really grow them all by yourselves. Maybe you really all build it after all. All the more reason why we should shun our accursed presence. Come along now, Perry. We're leaving. Huh? Uh, yes, sir. Why has Beardy got such a grudge against builders? Maybe he's a cursed a d dead dog on his chin. I wouldn't say it's a grudge, really. He's just being cautious. After all, everyone knows the builders spread desolation and despair wherever they go. Can we do what now? Don't worry, Feni. I don't think builders are harbingers of doom and gloom. In fact, I think they're great. Bonanza spent his whole life being told how awful people like you are. We all have. You can't expect him to change his mind overnight.
Oh, did you now? I don't know, I feel like we are deconstructing the first game. Because they did a little background story of of this one, and it's following the storyline of Dragon Quest II. Of what happened after the end of Dragon Quest II, where the heroes beat beat the big baddie. So it's the same world. Oh. Tastes like nerds. Interesting. And ears scratchy. Soo <laughs> Do you see that big bell over there? Well, there's an old story about it. Once upon a time, a builder came to Furrowfield. He showed the people the wonder of building to earn their awe and appreciation. Then he whacked that bell with all his might. When the islanders heard it ring out loud and clear, something awoke within them. They were filled with the power of creation, and Furrowfield Farm flourished. Don't you see, Finai? Those funny things you've been picking up must be pieces of our appreciation. I mean, something might happen when you ring the bell. Well, there's only one way to know for sure. Go for the builder's bell and give it a great big wallop. Sounds like a terrible idea, but okay. Tasty. box. I don't know what you just did, but it was pretty spectacular. The whole place been filled with some kind of strange power. Uh, it was the residents cheering, apparently. Marauding mollusks, builder! What have you done? What is this energy flowing through me? My old body is been filled with yawning to create. What's this uncontrollable urge to go and till a field? I hope this would happen. But the power you collected was unleashed when you rang that bell. It opened our eyes to the wonder of building. Looks like it even inspired you. Now you can build simple stools, simple small tables, and chests. Is that so? We could certainly use some furniture around here. You can make all that, can you? Your build is really all amazing. All right, Finite. We're all very impressed. You can stop posing now. Well, I like the fact that you can pick how many things to build instead of it being one or maximum. Um, I like the fact that the hammer and the weapons are unlimited and don't just break. Um, I don't know about item storage yet. That worries me. I do like the fact that I have someone to follow me around to help me collect things. Um, but but so far I've, I've been on rails, so it's it's hard to say. 
Well, yes, moving out of the way when building has been very helpful, too. From now on, you will have the full cooperation from Perry and I. Let us rebuild the great farm and restore this place to its former glory. We shall tend to the fields from the moment we wake up to the moment in the morning to the moment we fall asleep at night. No crop shall remain unwatered on my watch. That's fantastic, isn't it, Finai? Now you can all work together to see Furrowfield Farm reborn. Their entitled lives outside of farm work? No, they're not. That went even better than I had imagined. Who'd have thought those two would ever get so fired up about building? It seems that whenever you build things for us, or when we manage to make things ourselves, our emotions overflow and turn into those funny fragments that only you can see. And then when you collect enough of the emotional energy and pour it into ringing the bell, Everyone becomes better at building, including you. If I'm right about this, and I'm sure I am, it's overflowing emotions of the key to getting Profield Farm back on its feet. Collect as many as you can and make us all the best builders we can be. Okay, now that Bonanzo and Perry are finally in the mood to help, we can take Operation Furrowfield Farm to the next level. Right. Problem is, a farm needs soil and seeds, and it looks like you're fresh out of both. Well, um... Any ideas, Phoebe? <laughs> <laughs> For a mob who hates builders, you lot certainly seem to be lost without one. What's the story there, anyway? What's so bad about builders? Come on, let's get to the root of this. Of course, the root! Well, I suppose it's more of a bowl, really. Whatever it is, it certainly isn't a cabbage. This can be the next thing we grow. Here you go, Fini. A light bulb. Um. Um. Always suspected it might be special, so I kept it hidden away this whole time. Huh. Hey, Fina, I get a load of that. Huh. The platform. It's glowing. It must be because you're a builder and you're holding the bulb. Go on, Fina. I plant the light bulb in the light and let's see what happens. Sure, why not? Could this be? Oh, fiddlesticks! We've really done it! Gone done it this time! The Master of Destruction is sure to strike us down! The Master of Destruction? Who the heck's that? What? Have you really never heard of the Master of Destruction? Does that mean that you don't know about the children of Hargon either? I see, so you really so you weren't just playing dumb. You really don't know about the evils of building. You've been talking at cross purposes this whole time. Let me explain. Everyone in Furrowfield follows the teachings of High Priest Hargon, handed down to us by his illustrious children. On this island, building isn't only forbidden, it's a serious sin. What? Rosie? Rosie? We're in a whole heap of trouble here. The past is on its way over. I must have seen the light from the tree. Hmm. Hey, Finai, look. What in the name of Hargon is happening here? Uh, hi, buddy. Who planted this tree? Answer me, faithless wretches. 
What, what, what? Building a farm, you say? Heresy. How dare you sully my island with the sinful stain of creation? You'll pay dearly for this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The fields and the cabbages are my idea. Don't punish Fina just because she's a builder. A builder? This witless looking whelp. Wait, this tree. Could it really be? Could it really be what? If you know something about it, then spit it out. If I'm not mistaken, this is a young day tree. The sacred sentinel of the Thrillfield Forest. Beneath his blessed boughs, this isle once flourished. Hmm. Hear me, my wayward vassals. I have had a change of heart. I have seen the fruits of your labors, and I have decided to forgive you of your sins. My superiors need not know of your aboriel indiscretion. I will keep your secret so long as you keep growing this tree. But should it dwindle and die, then so shall you. Could grow the tree? But I really don't know how to. <laughs> you need not worry on that account, my child. Throwfield's most ancient legends tell of exactly what one must do to see a day tree grow tall and strong. You must harvest 15 cabbages. Furrowfield was once far famed for its succulent cabbages. I trust that you can live up to these expectations. Should you lack sufficient seeds, I suggest you seek out more yourselves. You must harvest 50 sheaves of wheat. The people of Furrowfield once enjoyed a wide range of foods and wheat formed the cornerstone of many a delicious dish. You may find you need to travel afar to find the seeds you need. You must till 50 blocks of earth. Furrowfield was once a farmer's paradise with seed fields stretching out as far as the eye can see, and no farm can operate without plowed soil. 50 squares will suffice. If you cannot find enough clean soil, I recommend you find some means of making more. I've heard of a so-called day tree. It was a mighty magical tree that protected all life on the furrow field, or so they say. If that's true, and we really can grow a new day tree, then we might be able to bring light and life back to the island after all. Hold on, a creepy monster turns up out of the blue and suddenly you're going to go along with everything he says? What makes you think he can be trusted? <laughs> we have a live one, I see. Such a spirit and soul would make a fine offering to the Master of Destruction. Don't make a fuss, Malroth. We're not in a position to argue here. You too, Fini. I, I can't do this without you. Please say you'll help us to grow the day tree and bring Furrowfield Farm back to life. Uh, I'm so tempted to say no just to see what will happen. But I'm done being contrary. <laughs> Yippee, thank you, Fenine. You wouldn't let me down. <laughs> A wise decision, young builder. Should you lose sight of your goal, I'd bid you speak with me once more. I don't know where we're going to find wheat seeds to plant or any more earth to till, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. For now, let's concentrate on growing the cabbages. If we all work together, we'll have these tasks done in no time. Mm. I never expected the pasta to appear out of the blue like that. It's got living daylights out of me, so it did. On top of that, it turns out to be interested in the tree you planted. Why do you lot believe all this Children of Hargon rubbish anyway? Look, your pastry's dressed like someone's grandmother. To tell the truth, I've never given it much thought before. I've been a believer since as long as I can remember. It's just the way it's always been. Oh, but before I forget, Fina, have you tried eating one of those cabbages you harvested? You're going to be growing a good big pile of things. You may as well just know how delicious they are. Go on. Have a nibble of one of those cabbages now, why don't you? 
Okay, yum yum. You had one of those cabbages, didn't you? Good and fill them, weren't they? They'll do a fine job healing your wounds, too. They ain't much on this island the way you're curative, so you're gonna need to eat your greens while you're here. You know, I got dragged here by Rosie. She was ill bent on rebuilding the farm, you see. I was more worried about being found out by the children of Argon. But I don't have to worry about that anymore, do I? Maybe I can be a builder like you. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of building from now on. If children don't like it, they can get stuffed. Who dares speak ill of the children of Hargon? What foul sinner defies my divine authority? Show yourself or face the full fury of my righteous fury. Uh, Timmy cry. The pestles I got using him. Well, I'm like a blow my blat. When Rosie led us to the Shruin farm, I had my doubts about her whole plan. Last thing I expected was to meet a builder here. Still, I expect there must be some advantages to have someone like you around. For instance, you can make buildings, can you not? Perhaps you already noticed the large red door by the field? Yeah, I would have you convert the ruined room around it into our new sleeping quarters. The key thing is to ensure the walls are at least two blocks high. It will also be a door, of course. Our large red friend is an eminently suitable candidate. You can make the walls from mud if you must, but I think we both agree that soft wood and floorboard blocks would be much more befitting the room for yours, truly. Once the room itself is built, we must begin to think about the furniture. Two piles of straw bedding and a light source will suffice for the time being. Yes, it is harvesting time, that's right. Yes, that's right. He is a cute builder. What? <laughs> 
Woohoo! Small basic bedroom. Why do I need a torch? Just said I needed a light source. He seems fine with it. <laughs> it's not like the torch would be any better <laughs> when it comes to burning the room down. It's just a just fire on a stick. Blistering bad boons builder. Look at this bedroom. It's better than I ever imagined it would be. Now we need not wander about in the monster infested dark of night. We can sleep in the safety of this room and awake well rested the next morning. Why with the builder on board we need not stop at a single bedroom. We have houses, hot food, happiness. <laughs> Meandering mollusks. All these years I've been thinking that you're building beings of pure evil. How could I have been so misinformed? My girl, ever since I heard you ring that bell, I've been overcome with a desire to build. Settles it. My days of pandering to the children of heart are over. I shall leave those fanatics and become a builder. Together we shall bring life back to Furrowfield. And the art of room building is fundamental to that. Here to be our resident builder, I suggest you hone those skills by building rooms for the rest of your fellow builders. Now, Fina, my girl, I understand you're in need of seeds. Well, I intend to do what I can to aid you in that regard. Mm -hmm. For now, this is all I can give you. I found them in my beard when I was combing it this morning. is isn't much, but hopefully I'll have more to offer you soon. Uh, great. Ah, uh, Fina, I trust the bounty of my beard. I, I refer to, of course, the seeds I gave you. Aid your request to restore the day tree. We Furrowfieldians shall also do our parts, toiling in the fields in the morning and sleeping in our fine new bedroom come nightfall, recovering our strength for another day's labor. <laughs> what will you do while you wait for the cabbages to ripen? Might I suggest you make that lovely bedroom you built for us just a little lovelier? What it needs is a bit of traditional Furrowfieldian decoration. Be a good lass and finish it off with some farming tools and a nice stack of firewood, wouldn't you? Those ghosts are vile. I don't know why it feels so late. Alright, buddy. And to bed with you. did bully me. I'm really glad the uh, there's quest markers on these things.
Ah, uh, that's warlike. Get the smell of the firewood, the rustic ambience of the farming equipment. That was a fine idea, if I do say so myself. No doubt you've noticed the bedroom you made became a farmer's bedroom. With just a few key additions, you can give a room a whole new identity. People using these unique rooms are much happier if they had to live in a drab, functional cubicles. They'll simply overflow with gratitude if you take my meaning. Fini, this new bedroom is incredible! We're one step closer to getting Furrowfield Farm back on its feet. Yeah, more beds is a good idea. Indeed, my dear, our next priority must be to find some more healthy soil. We cannot build a farm around a few measly patches of workable dirt. I've heard tell of a curious tribe that once called this island home and capable of turning spoiled soil into clean, fertile earth. But I know not what became of them. Still, we can think more about that later. For now, you must have your reward. Another sample of my beard's bounty. You. Cabbage. Sarah is great. I don't know about that. Where are you going? Why are you afraid? Oh, so he's not punching things? Oh, right. Another quality of life improvement. I don't have to... I can just give people weapons. Except I can't build a cypress stick at the moment. Unless it's done here. Oh, 
Why would I want to build another giant mallet? Correct, Rosie and Perry don't want. Yippee, we did it! We harvested 15 whole cabbages! Back in the day, furrow field cabbages were so plentiful we sent them to other islands. They were famous near and far for their delicious taste and succulent texture. Maybe one day we'll have that many cabbages. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Hmm? Look, Fini, look at the day tree! Okay. Even the priest is spitting up hearts. We did it! We completed the first task, and I think the day tree's already looking stronger. <laughs> Not bad at all. Maybe I will finally have something truly worth destroying. Shall I burn it alive or simply blast it into splinters? Lemon heck! We're done for! I knew this old thing was a big mistake! Don't, Father. We did what you said, and the day tree really did get bigger. We can't stop now. Very true, Rosie. If you wish to be spared my wrath, you will continue to look after this tree. I suggest you work those fields as though your lives depended on it. Yeah, it makes sense. Pastor's a strange one. I can't quite work out where he's coming from, but at least didn't destroy the day tree. All we need to do now is find a way to grow a lot of wheat and till 50 patches of soil. As far as the wheat goes, there used to be a little mill town to the east. It's just ru ruins now, but there might still be some wheat seeds hidden there. I'll put a mark on your map so you know where the ruins are. Please, Fini, go there and bring back some wheat seeds. I'm desperately running out of space, though. Hi. Well, I mean, I appreciate that. I think I'd rather you wait on the hints until I'm actually struggling, though. What do you mean I have a large multi-tabbed inventory? This doesn't look very multi-tabbed.
Well, let's see. I can't hold anymore. Last game I had to make my big chest before it let me do let me carry that much stuff. saying I don't appreciate the hints. I just want to try to explore things on my own. Feels weird to have an experience bar though. Human. Normally, I like to give helpful hints to passerby. Something's really cheesed me off right now, and I need to get it off my chest. It used to be the most wonderful granary down this way, absolutely filled to the brim with wheat. I used to sneak in to grab a bite to eat whenever I was feeling peckish, but now the whole place is completely swarming with monsters. It's far too dangerous for me to steal a snack and have it that way. I'd be very careful if I ever use Squeak. By the way, the fat rats in this island aren't like other monsters. We're always friendly and try to help people wherever we can. If you run into any of us on your travels, don't be shy. Step right up and have a chat. Okay. Unexpected. Inscription scarf and stone line. Read it? Of course. I leave these puzzles as a challenge to any young builder who finds them, and they aid you in your journey to become a master builder. Use your wits and building skills to solve them. You should be rewarded with treasures and new powers both. The inscriptions end there. <sighs> Whoever wrote that, they sound pretty full of themselves. Well, whatever, we might as well give these things a shot and see what happens. Okay, what's the puzzle, though? I mean, aside from the obvious. A uh, mini metal. Seriously? My reward is a mini medal.
it's very Minecrafty. Okay, Bearer of Peas, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a good night. Recipe for leveling up. Interesting. Huh? Hey, Fini, did you just invent a new weapon? Did you get the idea for watching me fight? <laughs> yeah, that's great. I better keep fighting then. I can't wait to see what kind of wild weapon you'll dream up next. If you do come up with any new recipes you use in arms and armor, I'd be better off using an anvil to whip them up than a normal workbench. Okay, anyway. In the meantime. Oh my gosh, there's a skeleton too. Well, I'm glad Maloth is nearly invincible. Oh my gosh, more? Back here. Oh, don't turn to night time. Don't turn to night time. You know, I get a load of this massive building. You reckon there's seeds in there? Only one way to be sure. Let's head in and have a look around. How many things are you breaking out there? First to get attacked by monsters, then my weapon breaks clean in half. I can't even. It's totally an anvil, like, right there. But I would just die if I had to actually make something. Ugh. If only someone would offer to trade me a totally sick weapon, like a cypress stick or something. For the useless wheat seeds I found. Oh uh, yeah, here you go. OMG, this cypress stick is the goat! Uh, who are you? And where'd you get this weapon? You made it? No way. Wait, did you say you're a builder too? Wait, that's just too much. You're crazy. Well, crazy or not, I owe you one. And now that I've got a weapon that works again, I can do like the children of Hargon said and destroy this village. Hold up, I'm getting some, like, seriously sketchy vibes here.
Um... Oh no, not more of them. This place is like right on top of the ant's nest. I clobbered so many of them on the way here that my sword literally broke. Like, literally. Can you guys give me a hand with this one? They're all pitching. We'll slay those ants in no time. 50? They all take one hit. That was so lit. We totally crushed those ants like like ants. I couldn't have done with that sweet sapper stick. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm so hyped right now. I feel like I'm bursting with excitement. So anyways, you said you were a builder, right? So what's up with that? What are you doing in a place like this? Mm -hmm. Get out of town. You're looking for wheat seeds so you can rebuild Furrowfield Farm? Man, you're totally going to get some like divine retribution for all this. The Master of Destruction will seriously smite you. Still, you definitely seem to have a knack for the whole building deal. Cypress stick you let made is legit. Me building isn't that bad after all. Yeah, take these. Those seeds I promised to trade for the stick, but believe me, never. Eh? Five. My name's Brittany. I'm like a wicked strong soldier. Let's head back to this farming horse. I want to see if those wheat seeds grow into you. I am not pulling off the valley girl accent very well. Yeah. Okay, there isn't any more to climb up. Some nice defense, though. Maybe she'll inspire me to make armor. In the morning, 
I don't want to deal with ghosties. Fina, Fina, you did it! You found the wheat seeds, and you found a new friend, too! Back when the children of Hargon's teachings took root here in Furrowfield, the people gave up building. They threw down their tools and let their fields lie fallow. But if you can bring people back here and get them fired up in a building like this, we can still turn things around. That's not a bad idea. We might find some workers to take back our own island, too. Speaking of all the new things you've been finding, Vinai, aren't you running out of space to keep it all? I've actually been trying my hand a bit of building myself here. You may do something to put all your tools and materials in. Yeehaw! I got a bag! With that bag, you can collect as many materials as you like. You'll never need to worry about leaving anything behind again. Alright, Fina, let's plant those wheat seeds. If we don't have enough good soil to plant them, you can always knock out some of the cabin seeds to hammer and make space. So the bag replaces the big chest. It's disappointing. A little bit. Wow, this place is lit! Is that the day tree? It is, isn't it? Get a load of this sweet farming setup you got going on. So I'm a soldier, right? More of a breaker than a builder. I want to help out though, so I figure I might stick around and guard the place for you. The children of Hargon can do one. From now on, I'm all about the Buildren of Hargon. <laughs> oh man, I'm so looking forward to this. It's gonna be so much fun telling those weirdos in their stuffy old robes where they can stick their stupid rules. <laughs> Bold words indeed. You still be so brave when the Master of Destruction shatters your arms and armor into a thousand pieces. Ah, it's a stuffy robed weirdo. Yo, Fina, nice work planting those wheat seeds I gave you got ourselves a sweet little wheat field. That's like way too small, you know? There's definitely not enough so good soil around here. Uh, that's true. I may be the finest farmer on Furrowfield, but even I can't get your clean soil out of thin air. Well, I've heard this hot goss about a Wiggly who lives somewhere near here. He's part of this, like, tribe that can clean up soil with spoiled soil. The children of Hargon are like, I don't think so, mate. So he's laying low in his burrow. Mm -hmm. You're saying there's a giant worm out there that can solve our soil problem? Sounds almost too good to be true. We should bring him here right away. At this rate, it's going to take forever to harvest all the wheat we need. We may as well spend that time sleeping out where this wiggle is hiding. Thank you, Nero. 
I was just about to do that. Let's make a couple more swords to give to people. <laughs> no, I already have a stone sword. Big boy. We should probably leave that guy alone for now. Brings humans screening all the way out here then, seeking out the navigable orb, are you? Well then, here it is, this beautiful orb right behind you. The instant you lay your hand upon it, you'll gain power to warp back here wherever you like. Open the map with the center button, and you'll be able to zoom away to any navigable orb you've already touched. Or just zip yourself back home if you like. The island's bigger than you might think, especially if you're walking everywhere, so these things are key to getting around. Don't forget to touch any new ones you find. You might be wondering why I'm telling you all this. All the fat rats in this island are just as helpful as me, so you shouldn't be surprised if we offer you some handy hints. That's far more useful than just showing you a location on a map. Okay, so the bag's not unlimited, but it's far bigger than the big chest was. Whee! What business does a ratty looking human like you have with me? Squeak, you're looking for someone who can clean dirt for you? I've got no idea how you'd even go about it. That mud bungee monster over to the east would know. If you want to meet him, you'll have to be quick. I saw a gang from the Children of Heart over here, but there were vicious grins on their faces not too long ago. Oh, before I forget, have you spoken to my fine friend here already? I see it's duty as a say. All us fat rats have handy hints for adventurers like you. Squeak!
Oh, that's a big draggy. Boy, a seed! Too bad it's cabbage and not wheat. NPCs are far smarter in this too. Actually get out of the way of the enemy spells instead of just standing there like a lump. Earthworm Jim. Fina, what do you reckon is going on here? <laughs> we finally found you, spineless worm. Heard you've been making clean earth. You know the penalty for making things is around here. I ain't done nothing wrong. Ain't my fault the salt comes out clean and then it goes in, is it? If you truly believed in our cause, you'd immediately destroy anything you made didn't, and now you must be punished accordingly. Cree? What do you think you're looking at, humans? Can't you see what hard it was putting the vin- This isn't here? Well, don't just stand there. Help us! Unless you oppose the children of Hargon, in which case, we'd be more than happy to purge you, too. Oh, Cromany. You have to help me, humans. Please. It looks like we gotta pick a side, v -Night. What do you think? Should we side with the monsters? Or or the monster? That you even have to think about it is proof enough that you have a faithful bone in your body. The children of Hargon do not tolerate such fair-weather followers. Precisely. You shall meet the same gridly fate. As this long limb the thinner. Come on, guys, let's get them. He certainly made short work of them for a piece of so ass and they thank you kindly. But who are you anyway? Oh, what are you doing all the way out of here? I build it, you say. And you're rebuilding the old farm, Detroit and all. I'd be looking for someone who could job Earth out of nothing. I sense that. Big old tree was back, so I did. Been wriggling all over the place looking for it. We had him lost, safe by the very main plant. There must be fate. I'm a wiggly, you see. We an ancient tribe with the power to purify the earth, or at least the words. I'm the only one of us left now. 
<laughs> this gross, slimy thing is gonna clean up our soil. Can't wait to see everyone's face when we get back to the giant worm in tow. In tow. Name's Wrigley, by the way. Yeah, we can get back to your farm before any more of the children of Argon turn up. That'd be lovely. I suppose I could do the teleport thing now. I don't want to walk. Oh. Gosh, so many Drakies. Okay, let's run away from the bear. Nope. Nopey, nope, nope, nope. Stuff hasn't finished growing yet? <sighs> oh, it's a heck of a farm you've got here. Maybe still be small, but... All the right bits be side in place, yield the crops, even the day tree. Blue egg, it's a monster. Dribble and Drakies, you're right. We're under attack from a vicious wiggly. Well, don't just stand there, Malroth. Beat it to within an inch of its life. That will not be necessary unless I am mistaken. This Wiggly is a descendant of the tribe that kept the soil of Thoroughfield clean and healthy for generations. What? Hear me, Wiggly. From this day forth, you are to aid us in building new fields. Fail to do so, and we'll have no further need to keep you alive. You're trying to threaten me? What's well, working? You've got yourself a deal. <laughs> Don't worry, Wormface. If this guy tries anything, I'll beat him to a pulp. Thank you kindly. Alright then, I'll stick around and help. Can I bring back the day tree? More than happy to help give a hand with these soil problems. It's anything I'm good at is cleaning up muck. Da 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 da.
ta la la ta 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 Genie, it's pretty dope having a wiggly squad. Now we totally get all the good dirt we need. Funny how that slimy simple is so eager to help us out, eh, Genie? Seems like there's something about you that monsters really go for. Our prayers are answered. Our soil shortage is solved. It's all thanks to Brittany. Nah, I was just passing on some rumor I heard. It was Genie who did all the legwork, and props to Wrigley too for dropping everything and coming here to bail us out. Nobody knows why, but on Furrowfield, the Wigglies of Bodkins and the Rats have always been kind to us humans. Hey, maybe if you ask around your travels, you might find out. Still not ready. Cook or kill. Help. We Wiggly's been custodians of the soil here from Furfield since forever. It's always been our job to keep the dirt in a good nick. And now it's chilling all gone off the case. I get started again. Can't wait to see the whole place overflow with life. Green from beach to bluff. I suppose I should stop by turning some of this old slime and some nice clean notes, shouldn't I? Oh yes, please, Wiggly. I have no idea how long I've waited for this. I'm so excited to see you sanitize the soil. Righto. But how am I supposed to know which bits you want cleaned up? Hey, Mr. Square Peg. Welcome. I see. You're using scarecrows to mark out where you want fields to be. So I should work my magic on the mud around them moments? Sounds like a plan. We can start right here, way. No time like the present, is there? I am doing pretty well. How about you? That is good to hear. in no time. You can't grow anything else though, people, because y'all don't want to till because you want to sleep. That's alright, I want to sleep too. Now then, back to work, folks. Glad to hear that you're doing well. Now, till some soil so that I can plant more seeds. if I cook wheat. There you go, Fenai. Stinky sludge is all gone. Nothing but fine, fertile earth for your fields from now on. Aye. I can't believe it. Look at all this healthy earth. Thank you, Wrigley. I'm so happy. I've never seen so much lovely soft soil in my life. Ever since the spoil spores appeared, I thought our island was doomed. Even when we found clean soil, everything we planted it just withered and died. 
What's wrong with you lot crying over a bit of dirt? Spent so long scraping together a few small pledges to fair, but uh, and now we got more than we know what to do with. I'm as happy right now as I'll ever been. <laughs> I'm happy too, happy to help, that is. I'd be more than happy to clean up the soil anywhere if you not plunks down one of them scarecrows. Wonderful work, Fini. Just so happens I have a few seeds squirreled away for such an auspicious occasion. Now we have a place to plant them. Uh, more cabbage seeds. Why don't you have more wheat? Oh, you did have more wheat. Oh, and suddenly it's raining. We got so much more clean soil now, Fini. The field even smells better, rich and earthy, not all rotten like before. I thought between you, a builder, and me, the finest farmer in Furrow Field, we had the perfect duo. But now with Wrigley in the mix, we got the perfect trio. <laughs> now we can make as many fields as we want. But that won't help us if we don't have the seeds to plant in them. Brittany told me about the ruins of an old farm somewhere to the northwest on the other side of the mountains. Sounds like just a place to find some more seeds, right? I'll mark it on their map for you. So go and see what you can find. I'm not going anywhere until you guys till some more soil so I can plant some more stuff. Why are you all doing this to me? Why? I can't... I can't till the soil. Did it, Fini? Fifty blocks of soil, unsullied soil, turned and tilled and plowed to perfection. Now we've enough space for all five types of vegetable that used to grow in Burlfield Farm. Before the day tree withered and died, they used to grow all sorts of different crops here, and all the festival when they brought the harvest. Goodness, Fini, look at the day tree! Tree's grown a little bigger, and it feels a lot more powerful, too. Any of these tasks is really doing the trick, isn't it, Fini? <laughs> Standing before something so precious, I can barely contain the urge to destroy it utterly. Oh, uh, the pastor's acting all funny again. Is he really gonna blow it up this time? Now, hang on. When you first saw the tree, you said you had a change of heart. What was that all about? 
Silence. I will not stand by and listen to your idle chatter when I have so much more still to do. Stop wasting time and get back to work. Hmm. What do you mean some monsters appear near the base? No, do not want. Don't like it. Huh? Hey, Fina, I defeat all these monsters, maybe even stronger again. Feel the power flowing through my veins. You don't seem quite so pumped up. I'm starting to get a bit worried about you. That settles it. I'll just have to think of a trick I can teach you that even a weakling can use. Uh, how about this? Start by charging up all your power into your sword arm. Yeah, that's it. You're better at this than I expected. Let it all out in one giant swing. Really go for it. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you did it. Not bad, all for Not even for you. Here, we're just hold down triangle to build up power. Once it's all charged up, let go and unleash a super spin attack. Should come in handy the next time you're in a fight. coming? <laughs> Yo, Fina, I know that Wrigley's on board. This farm's about to seriously go off. The only thing is, the monsters get thirsty for a fresh fruit and veg. And as the only soldier in the Fur Brilliant Guard right now, it's kind of a problem. Obviously, we can't just stop growing food like duh. I figure what we need is better weapons. And that's where you come in. Any ideas? If not, then practice makes perfect ideas. If you Malroth go out and rough up a bunch of monsters and give you the inspiration you need. Stone sword would be pretty lit. Make me one of those and give it to me, of course. Sword isn't much use to us, so old soldier to swing it. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks so much, Fina. It's sword is well sick. Anytime you invent a new weapon, you should whack some up and give them to everyone who can swing it. And everyone's like, oh no, the monsters are too tough. We'll be like, oh yeah, tough luck, monsters. <laughs> Back in the day, we would have been a hype for the things I could smash the sword, but I really believe in the children and their master destruction anymore. Master of destruction? Who's that supposed to be? Does he have a name? How am I supposed to know, Haki? That the only person who knows his name is Almighty Hargon himself. <laughs> Listen to me, Almighty Hargon. I'm so done with him. Let's stop the children of Fina instead. Brilliant band of building buds. Speaking of Hargon, what do you reckon he's do like, doing? You don't think he's going to come and smite us, do you? Uh. Alright. Axe. Hey, Malroth, come here. What's this? Did you make me any weapon? <laughs> Thanks, I love it. I'll use this one from now on, but I'll keep hold of the Oakland Club you made it to. <laughs> After all, it's the first thing you ever made me. I suppose it's got sentimental value. But if you invent any weapons that can make me deal even more damage, 
build them straight away and hand them over. Yeah, I didn't want the Oak Club back anyway. All right. Let's go. Run away, run away! Sweet, hi there, human. Are you looking for your friend? He's just over the other side of this hill. He seems to a little crazy. Last I checked, he was swinging his hoe around like a madman. If he's not your friend, you might want to steer clear. You can always just go and have a look, but don't blame me if he clocks him on the noggin. He's a farming gear. I don't know if there's falling damage in this game, but better safe than sorry. Well, they're human. As hungry as a church mouse. Seriously, I'm starving. Speak. All I have are these wheat seeds. But I get really bloated when I eat wheat. I think I have an intolerance. Do you think you could help me out? If you gave me ten cabbages, that would keep me fed for a while. I can have these wheat seeds in return. Yeah, here you go. Hey, humans, those look like nice, juicy cabbages, and you've got ten of them, too. Well, Hand them over. Come on, I'm starving. Thank you so much. You've saved my life, human. I might be a rat, but I'm true to my word here. The seeds I promised you. I knew you'd come through for me. After all, us rats and humans used to be on the same side. What? You don't know anything about it? Well, actually, now that you mention it, I've remember much about it either. Let's 
next week? Hi there, human. High-minded, highbrow, high-class girl like you, Shnev. No problem at all with heights, right? Then I know a couple of tricks that are perfect for someone like you. Skills for swiftly scurrying to the sloppy spot. Squeak! Any adventure worth his cheese knows how to climb. After all, you never know what you might find at the top of the mysterious hill. If you have a wall handy, you can put blocks against it to make a staircase. If not, you can build a tower by jumping straight up and putting a block under you before you land. Mastery of these techniques is the key to quick climbing. Give it a shot right now. If there's a treasure chest up above me, it's yours for the taking. If you can reach it. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Very well done, human! Who would imagine the seed of life would be hidden away in those old ruined rafters? Did you have much trouble getting up there? If you still find it tricky, just keep practicing. You'll master it eventually. You look like something of an adventurer to me, human. Hopefully these climbing skills will aid you in your travels. Seed of life should be quite helpful, too. It has the odd effect of making you just a little bit tougher if you need it. You'll find incredible items like that in all sorts of unexpected places. So don't be afraid to go exploring. You never know what you might stumble upon. They say the rarest and most valuable items are always hidden in the hardest to reach places. So keep a keen eye out on your travels. Let's just grab a barrel. <laughs> what is this fiendish farmyard still doing here? Don't worry. I'll have the whole blast thing torn apart in no time. Hmm? I don't know who you are, but if you're not gonna help, then I'd rather you leave me alone and let me destroy this place in peace. I beg your pardon. I heard there was an old farm around here and you were hoping to find some seeds? Well, I expect this is the farm you're looking for. Don't worry. I'll soon have it completely obliterated. As for the seeds, I have some, but I won't give them to you. It's no nobler goal than wrecking ruin, you know. I'm sure the Master of Destruction himself is watching me right now as I smash this place to smithereens. All I can say is, it's a small mercy this place doesn't have one of those accursed scarecrows. Those infernal puppets has some kind of dark power over me. Just one glance at one, I can't resist tilling the soil around it. Confound my farmer's blood. Hmm. Whatever you do, stranger, don't use that wooden word wrench to stole the scarecrow and then place it in the middle of the field. Don't even think about it. What was that? Don't do what now? Oh. Oh no. Did you really put a scarecrow in the middle of the field? Right after I specifically told you not to. What is happening to me? Just as I feared. One glance at a scarecrow and I can't stop myself from tilling the earth around it. O oh, master of destruction, hear my prayer. I've sullied my hands with the stain of creation. I beg your forgiveness. 
It is only by your destructive grace that this field is not enclosed by wooden fencing. Were it so fenced in, I fear that I... I... You didn't happen to spot the pieces of wooden fencing stuck in the ground like this field, did you? Whatever you do, don't go and fetch that wooden fencing over there. Fill in the gaps of the fence around this field, do you hear me? No fences. Fences. Put a fence around this field, didn't you? Well, why would you do that? No, it's happening again. Why? Why? <sighs> that is kind of sad, actually. <sighs> I couldn't help myself. I plowed every inch of earth and saw that cursed fence. Sly devil. I expect you've worked out how to build wooden fencing and wooden gates yourself, too. With gates and fencing, you can make fields of almost any shape or size. They're dangerous weapons, indeed. Oh, master of destruction, hear my prayer. Once again, I have sopped my brow with the sweat of constructive labor. I beg your forgiveness. What's that? If I want to till some more fields, why don't I go and help out on your farm? trying to imply I'll have you know that I'm a devoted disciple of the children of Hargon. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Let's take him back to the farm and turn him into a builder. Alright, weirdo. If you got any seeds, hand them over. No funny business. You can do this the easy way or the fun way. Alright, alright, here you go. They're all yours. Really, it looks like I got enough seeds to make coming all the way out here worthwhile. Let's get Tommy Till's lot back to the farm. My name's Clayton. I'll go with you. I'll help you on your farm. We'll do anything you want. Just please don't kill me. Unbelievable. Look at this farm, these buildings, these fields, this tree. Truly such sinners are beyond redemption. Such shameless construction. Such brazen building. This whole town stinks of creation. Your heretics, a lot of you heretics and builders all. <sighs> Reverend, this woman is a builder. Foul, ill-redeemable sinner. Do something. Destroy her. 
<sighs> you could not have arrived at a better time, my disciple. You must work the fields here. You must till the soil and water the crops with neither rest nor respite. Not you too, why, Reverend? Why? Very well. I will join you in your den of iniquity. I can't disobey the pastor's orders. And it's probably a good time for you to stop after I get these seeds planted. As much as I want to keep going. Is nothing ready. Oh, now it is. Too many people. I still need to figure out how to get people to cook things for me, though.
Okay, the rest of the seeds are planted. Game is saved. Game is saved. Right, game is saved.